Oh man. Yo, this is gonna be crazy, man. I'm gonna give you guys a quick sneak peek of my Air Jordan 1 collection. Since I did that got em video, I still got tons of shoes laid out on the floor. I need to get my behind in order and clean up this mess. But I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek on what's to come, man. So let me kind of sort this out and show you guys what I have, all right? How about that? Hope you guys like this, man. So let's get right into it, man. This is just a quick glimpse of all, not all, some, a very, very small portion of sneakers, Air Jordan 1 to be exact, that I have in the collection. So without further ado, let's get right into it, man. I don't know how I want to do it moving forward when I show the whole collection, but I'm just going to give you guys a snippet. Let me know what you guys think. If you like this format, if you like me to change it up and do something a little bit more creative. All right. First up, we're going to talk about these. These was an alley from Cool Kicks uh, from Cali to Orlando. These are Air Jordan 1. Um, these are their number. I can't remember their number paired, but I know they're unique because they got the address of where they came out behind the shoe, behind the heel. A next low that I have are the Starfish Lows, which remind me of the Shadow Backboard 2.0s, but just in the low colorway. Cop these off for sneakers. Still having the collection, you know, the Air Jordan 1 Lows a thing this year, apparently. I'm showing all the white shoes first because I gotta adjust my camera when I uh, show white shoes because it's uh, overexposed. Nevertheless, these are the Air Jordan 84s or 85s, 85s I wanna say, uh, the all white joints. Having the collection, I think I want these off a of sneaker app as well, still DS. A lot of these shoes you're gonna see are DS, man. Here's a banger, Travis Scott One Highs. Copy this off the sneaker app. I want another pair from Trophy Room. Technically the wife did. Um, that's how I ended up with two, but I got rid of one very early on. Still have one in the collection, still DS, man. Dope shoe, it's a collab shoe. You already know how Travis Scott's go. They go for a lot. Blot out, blue to great. Who didn't want these shoes? Fun fact, I found two of these in the outlet. Uh, copped them for some subscribers, sold on my website. Uh, size 11 though, uh, with a double up, there was uh, at least one of them with my size, but both of them were size 11, so I sold them on outletplug.com. Um, blue to great, Wendy's off the sneakers app. Our most recent pickup are these. These are Billie Eilish uh, Air Jordan 1 or AJKOs, I believe. Yep, they're AJKOs 3, set of laces. Volt, there you go. When I rock these, probably not. <laughs> they're not going too much over retail. Actually, they're going for resale. I'm sorry. They're going for retail and below, to be honest. Boom, we got these Zoom Zen Greens, I think they're called, but they're the Zoom Comfort joints. They come in the Air Jordan 1 box though, which threw me off though. I don't remember the Zoom Comforts coming in the Air Jordan 1 box. Maybe they do, I don't remember, but I do have two pairs of these. Blah, blah, how many of you guys cop these? Alligator print. Crocodile leather style shoe. These are from the 2014-2015 um, Crocodile shoe. They had the brown joints, they had the tan joints, and they got the black one. I found these in the outlet, to be real. I found these in San Francisco outlet when I visited the homie Benny. We went to uh, Sneaker Con, and I think the day, the next day, or what have you, I can't remember. We pulled to a Nike outlet that had these sitting there. He got a pair, I got a pair, man. That's when life was good, bro. That's when he was finding gems like these in the outlet, bro. Below retail, too. I think this is a $400, maybe $350 when it first came out. I paid $250 plus tax. California tax is high, by the way. Next, they're going to be a different material. Uh, these are the Flyknit Air Jordan 1 breads. I definitely rock these. I do believe I rock them. Um, leather insole or leather padding on the inside. I love the fact that it has different quality of, of material inside the shoe. Air Jordan 1 band fly knits. Love the fact that um, there's leather on the insole. That's dope. Love that. Dope shoe. Definitely rock. And here's the roll pair. Still DS. Have not rock. Have I rocked these? I think these are still DS. Yes, these are DS. Uh, another fly knit Air Jordan 1 high OGs. Now I think the flyness are going for crazy numbers now, man. At first when these came out, nobody cared for them. Oh, another shoe. You could only get this in the pack several years back. They came with the Air Jordan 29, I believe, and they kind of swapped materials. So they put the leather, Air Jordan 1 leather on that 29, they put the 29 material on this. I'm not sure what kind of material this is. It's not fly knit. I forgot what they used. Some kind of weave they was using for the 29s or 28s. I forgot what actual model it is, but I know these came in a pack. I bought these separately off of eBay. I think it was from Soul Supremus. One of those sites have in the collection. Still DS, I've not rocked it yet. I know these are probably gonna go for crazy numbers, man. Now we get into some of my favorite shoes. These are the court purple joints. Cop this off the sneaker, if I'm not mistaken. If I didn't, I bought them off of Jimmy Jack. But I ended up with two of these, man. I recently just got rid of one. Well, I said recent, sometime last year. I um, only have one in the collection now. They do come with that feature, man. If y'all look closely, see that little white residue? 
that's the feature Jordan brand comes with these old um, old retro Jordan ones that was made like two or three years ago. I'm not sure if the new models are doing it, but um, the old Jordan models are doing it, man. But leather on here is phenomenal, though, man. I love the leather on this joint. Oh, how many of you guys got these Saint Germain joints? All black, nylon, midfoot, upper side panels, all that good stuff. The only thing leather on here, if that's leather, are the swooshes, both from the medium and lateral side, and the Air Jordan Wings logo. Black outsole. Still DS. I actually had two pairs of these. I rocked one. Um, I can't remember what I did with the one I rocked. I think I probably sold it. I think I probably did got rid of it. But I kept my DS pair. Um, Devin have the two strikes. St. Germain's Air Jordan 1 High. Oh, geez. Oh, and we got the <laughs> Off-White Air Jordan 1 UNC. Off-White stamp on the side. Cop this off a of sneaker. Pay 170 plus tax. I believe it was 170. Maybe it was 180. Probably 200. But right now, if you want this shoe, you got to play damn near close to $2,000, man. Two racks for Air Jordan 1. How times has changed, man. Love this shoe. UNC is one of my favorite colorways on shoes, man. Still DS, obviously. We almost done. There you go. These are the Air Jordan 1 All-Stars. I think these came out in 2017. I know they dropped on a Sunday on sneakers, and I won a pair. Definitely rocked them. Haven't rocked them in a long time. Still got that feature that all Air Jordan 1s of this time, roughly around that era, that time, comes with. That little residue, y'all see it? Um, that kind of builds up after a while if you don't wear your shoes for a while. So this is why this is building up. Definitely not the S. Um, copies off the of sneakers, man. Love this shoe. And lastly of my quick Air Jordan 1 collection vid are these. My favorite shoe in the collection, the Band 1s. This is my DS pair. As you can tell, man, you got that glitter all over the shoe. These shoes are DS. They've been in the box for a long period of time. The only time I took them out was to do this video and the previous video, the Got em video. Copies off the of sneakers. Um, I got another pair which I do rock, which is in the drop top front boxes behind me. Yeah, man, still DS, still factory unlaced. Love these shoes, man. This is probably one of the only shoes I want to get out of my collection. All right, man, we ain't over yet, man. I found some more shoes. Actually, they're in my drop front containers. So I just grabbed a few more shoes so I can wrap it up and show you guys. Just a mini, 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 micro, minute, small portion, small portion of my Air Jordan 1 collection, man. So let's continue on. Boom. I call these a Papa Smurf, man. These are the all blue suede Air Jordan 1. They didn't come with the, the high OG box. You know, the one with the Nike on top of the lid. Nah, it came with the Jumpman full box. These were considered, I don't know, man, the same height as a mid, but they didn't get much love or respect as a mid or high OG. I'm sorry, they didn't get much respect as like a high OG. Anyways, Papa Smurf joint, rock these a few times. Then you got the Suwoos, the all red suede joint, sister to that blue shoe I just showing you guys. Also rock, also all suede. Got this, cop this from the Nike outlet, man. Way below retail, y'all, way below retail. Oh, y'all remember these? I call them the New Love Unos. <laughs> Uh, formerly known as the New Love. These are Air Jordan 1 Miz. They came out in the pack years back. Then they re uh, retro them in 2019, 2018. Don't quote me on that. Copies for a finish line. Day one, I was able to get them way below retail. I had additional coupon I could use on finish line. So it dropped the price down a little bit for me. Uh, definitely rocked them a handful of times. And this also got that glitter effect. You know what I mean? That feature that all Air Jordan 1 high OGs come with. Dope shoe. Um, they dope, man. Air Jordan 1, new love. And also, we got another mid. This is also, re this was recently released not too long ago. This is like the gold and black patent leather joint. Another highly slept on shoe. I had an opportunity to buy more than one pair. It was at retail though, and I was like, nah, sh I don't need more than one, because God knows when I'm gonna rock this. Dope shoe. This is when they start removing the jump man um, from the back of the hill but it's still on the tongue. Still DS, as you can tell. Air Jordan 1 mid. I forgot what these are actually called. And that's pretty much it, y'all. This is just a quick, small snippet of some of my Air Jordan 1s. I think I show about 20 shoes, and I got five times more than that to show. That's not even included mids and lows, man. So if you guys enjoy this, man, hit that thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you guys wanna see the whole entire Air Jordan 1 high OGs, the mids, and the lows combined in one video. Also, the format I just did, this is pretty much a test run. I'm trying to see if like, 
can you guys sustain me sitting here and just showing shoes after another? That's probably gonna be the simplest and quickest way I can show you guys my whole entire Air Jordan 1 collection, unless I got a shooter. That means only somebody's holding the camera as and follow me inside my closet as I take out different shoes and talking about it. Last time I did that, man, it took us about two hours to do, and that was the quickest way. It took us one take, me and Benny, we knocked it out ASAP Rocky. That's when I first moved into this crib. I had all the shoes still in boxes, and as I was unboxing them, I was going through them each individual shoe, giving you a short story of each shoe. That was run and gun. That's off the, that was a skinny off top of my teeth. Like I didn't, did no rehearsal. I didn't know what shoe was in what box. So it was very authentic and thorough too, man. So salute with Benny, yo. You know what I'm saying? He dialed me in, make sure the quality and sound was on point. And I just did my thing. Let me know if you guys want to see that. But I know a lot of you guys are interested to see what Nitty has collected over the last two years since the last Air Jordan 1 collection video. But anyways, man, comment down below if you guys are interested in that Air Jordan 1 collection. And also, if you have an idea how I should shoot it. You're talking about over 100 shoes, man. So let me know. Other than that, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. And everyone, keep leaving those comments down below, as always, per use, and your boy get back to you as soon as possible, all right? Until then, to meet again, you already know my slogan, and I'm out of here. Yo, I'm be watching this comments very carefully because I'm interested to hear what you guys got to say about my collection. Or even this, this collection. Let me know what you guys think about this little mini display of all my ear, well, of some of my ear Jordan ones. All right, I'm out of here. Peace.